Can you put a light on the properties of WIMPs, weakly interactive, interacting massive particles? So the WIMP is a, one of the possible proposed solutions to the dark matter problem. A weakly interacting massive particle is a hypothetical particle that uh, interacts via gravity and via either the weak nuclear force or some other weak force that we don't know of. So that's what it is. It's a hypothetical particle. It's been proposed to try and solve the question of what is dark matter. So there are models in which you have wimps, clouds of wimps, halos of wimps, or or maybe wimps that uh, that permeate the world, and we still don't, don't we are not able to detect them. So it's one of the class of hypothetical objects that seeks to uh, hypothetical particles that seeks to. Uh, try and answer the riddle of what dark matter is. So there, there is a whole bunch of uh, theories and, and proposed particles, some exotic, some not so exotic, that uh, try to account for what dark matter is. As of today, we have no idea what dark matter is. And uh, the WIMP theory is one of the mainstream theories, but it's still, like all other theories, not proven. There are WIMPs, there are axions, there are... Uh, machos and, and many other such particles, maybe uh, black holes, pri primordial black holes or primordial black hole binaries or even neutrinos, could be anything. As of today, we don't know what it is. It's mostly, most likely cold dark matter, which means it doesn't, it's it's slow moving dark matter. But it's the, so the WIMP is one of these hypothetical particles that has been proposed to try and solve the riddle of dark matter. It's a hypothetical particle. It's never been observed. We have no experimental evidence or detection of these particles. But it's still one of the theories that is taken seriously. And uh, it's one of a number of theories that is taken seriously in the hunt for dark matter.